hello and welcome to all of you today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about reciprocal leveling so let us see what is re reciprocal leveling when there is an obstacle between two stations such that the instrument cannot be set up between the two stations reciprocal leveling is performed now reciprocal leveling is used in those type of terrain in which there is a difficulty in setting up of the instrument so what are those obstacles it may be a river it may be a ravine or it may be any other obstacle now how we will do that one let us see further in this process the level is set up at one of the two stations and staff readings are taken on both sides what we do in reciprocal leveling is that if we are going to take two readings on the consecutive on the uh, alternate sides of the obstacles what we will do is first we will set up the instrument near to one station and we will take readings for both the stations later on the instrument has to be shifted on the side of the next station and we will take the reading again for both the stations now we will try to shift the instrument nearer to one of the stations and we will take both the readings twice the instrument is then changed to the other station and the readings are taken on both station so this process has to be followed in which the first uh, level is set up and uh, the instrument uh, with the help of the instrument we will take the reading of both the stations then the instrument is changed to the other station and the readings are taken on both the sides later on we will find out the two true difference in elevation given by the average of the two apparent difference in elevation now in this case what we will find is for the first observation we will have two readings two staff readings then for the second observation we will have two staff readings using those two staff readings we will find the true difference in elevation by taking the average of the apparent difference in the elevation uh, elevation of the two process now let us make it more clear by taking an example now here let a and b be the points of observation now what we will do is a and b are the points of observation means this the staff reading has to be taken in station a and station b at first the level is set at a point near a and the staff readings are taken on a and b now the level is set up near to the station a and we will take the staff reading using the uh, by using the level instrument on both the stations a and b then the instrument is set up at a point near B and the staff readings are taken on A and B. Now the instrument is shifted and placed near station B and the staff readings are taken for station A and station B using the level instrument. Let us see this is the first case in which we have a river and both in on uh, river is the obstruction here and on both sides of the river there is a station a and b which are the point of observation for us now we will set two staffs here a and b now in the first case what we will do is we will set up an instrument near a and we will take the readings of station a and station b we will record the staff readings for station a and b now the first step is over let's move on to the second step let us say this is the same setup where there is an obstacle in the form of river and we have station A and station B on both sides of the river. Now the staffs are held in here like this. Now in this case the level instrument has to be set up near to station B and we will take the staff readings of station B and A accordingly. Now we will record the staff readings of B and A. Then 
Now when the instrument is at A, we will find out the apparent difference in elevation between A and B. Now we have the staff readings when the instrument is set up at A for station A and B. So we will find the apparent difference in elevation. How we will find out? We will just subtract both the uh, staff readings. In, the, in this case, let us say the apparent difference is apparent difference in elevation between the staff readings of A and B. Let it be H1. And then when the instrument is at B, we will do the same thing. We will try to find out the apparent difference and we will name it as some value. We will find again, find out the apparent difference in elevation between A and B. In this case, let us say the apparent difference in elevation between A and B is equals to H2. Now we have the apparent difference in between A and B for the condition 1 that is instrument at A equals to H1 and the apparent difference in elevation between A and B for the case in which the instrument is set at B is taken as H2. Now what will be our true difference in elevation? The true difference in elevation will be given by the average of both the apparent difference in elevation. That is H1 plus H2 divided by 2. Now let us see a problem in which we will try to understand how we calculate, how we conduct a reciprocal leveling and try to find out the reduced levels and try to find out the error. The following notes refer to reciprocal level when taken with one level. Here they have given some data in which the instrument was placed near P and Q and the staff reading was held on P and Q respectively and again the instrument was placed near Q and the staff reading was taken accordingly like this. Here the distance between P and Q is also given that is 10.10 meter and when uh, also the RL of the P is also given as 126.386. Now we have to find out through RL of Q. We already know the value of RL of P. Now we have to find out the RL of Q. Then the combined correction for curvature and refraction is also to be calculated. Then the angular error in the collimation adjustment of the instrument. We have to also find out the angular error in collimation. Let us try to solve the problem. When the instrument is at P, apparent difference in elevation is given by the difference of the both the staff readings. That is in the first case when the instrument was in at P and we are citing at P and Q, we have staff readings that was given in the table. So we will just subtract it. 2.748 was the staff reading on Q and 1.824 was the staff reading on P in the first condition. So it comes up to be 0.924 meter. So here in this case, P is higher than Q. When the instrument is at Q, we will again find out the apparent difference in elevation, which is given as 1.606, that was the staff reading on Q, and 0 0.928, that was the staff reading on P. Here again, it comes up to be 0 0.678 meters, where P is higher than Q. Now, true elevation will be given by true elevation will be given by 0 0.924 plus 0 0.678 divided by 2 uh, sorry everyone i made a mistake here it should be 0 0.924 plus 0 0.678 divided by 2 i have mistakenly written as minus here so you take the average of both the apparent difference in elevation 
and you find out the true difference in elevation which comes up to be 0 0.801 meters now we have the true difference what we have to do is we have to find out the first case is true rl of how we will get the true rl of q is rl of p minus true difference in elevation we have the true difference in elevation just calculated now we will find the rl of q by just subtracting the true difference in elevation from the rl of q which was given in the question is 126.386 meter just do the math and you will get the value of the rl of q which is equals to 125.585 the first thing is over now let's move on to the next thing that is combined correction for curvature and refraction now it is given by the formula c equals to 6 by 7 d square by twice r do we have the value of d here d is the distance between two points that is p and q we already know in the question it is given then also the value of r is 6370 six, kilometers we will convert it into meters just substitute it in the values the or the values in the formula we will get the value of combined correction equals to 0 0.0686 meter which is subtractive in nature now we will try to find out the third case in which angular error in the collimation of the instrument when the instrument is at P. Now, when the instrument is at P, the apparent difference in elevation we have already calculated equals to 0 0.924. Then, the true difference in elevation was 0 0.801. Therefore, error in staff reading is equals to apparent difference minus true difference, which is equals to 0. 924 minus 0 0.801 which gives us to a value of 0 0.123 meters which is the error in the staff reading however this error is a combination of error due to curvature refraction and collimation now we will see that how much it is the value how much uh, the uh, error is due to curvature refraction and collimation it is occurring so we have this this error the error just now we have found out in the staff reading is a combination of the error due to curvature refraction and collimation however in the question we just need to find out only the error in collimation now we will subtract the value of the combined error or due to curvature and refraction from the error in the staff reading Hence, error due to collimation is equals to error in the staff reading minus the combined error due to curvature and refraction, which gives us to a value of 0 0.0554 meter in a distance of 1010 meters. Now, this error is occurring for a distance of 1010 meter, which is the distance between two stations, that is P and Q. So, we know the error amount of error which is occurring for a distance of 1010 meter now we will try to find out the angular error so the angular error is given by alpha equals to 10 er inverse of 0 0.050 for a distance of 1 by 10 which gives us to a value of 11.11 minutes so i have already told about the calculation of angular error earlier in the previous video lecture also so this is how we do the reciprocal leveling and according to that we have also solved the problem which we have just completed now so thank you everyone let's meet you in the next video